Breaking news after Air Force went in search of ESN in Olu. See what Northern clergy was seen doing with bandits. You can see the bandit face. You can see that they know the people, right? You can see that Nigerian government do not need to go in search of the people. You see the money they are giving them. You can see the bundle of money. This is how they go about. This is how, when the people, they want money, the, the child that, been, that has been killed now, nothing will be done. Can you see that we are in a zoo? Nothing has been done to the people. Who, nobody has been held accountable for shooting uh, students. One of the boys was trying to run, run into the bush and is, is dead. Nobody asked who shot. Nobody has. I mean, in Nigeria, it is, it is legal, okay, to go about committing kidnapping, bandit, whatever, is legal. In case you don't know, you are the one who thinks it's illegal. It's very legal. This is how they share the money. There is no bank trust. This is cash coming to them. Leave us a comment. Please don't forget to like or share, subscribe. Please give us a thumbs up. God bless you. After airstrike went, Air Force went in search of ESN in Olu, see what a northern clergy was seen doing with bandits. Following some videos and news that has gone viral online, it was reported that the Nigerian Air Force were flying around in Olu in search of the Eastern Security Network operative who has not committed any crime at all. Following this report, some Nigerians have reacted saying that the attack that was launched on ESM operative in Olu was supposed to be launched on bandits in the forest who are carrying out criminal activity. Instead of launching attack on bandits, no for their criminal activity, Northern clergy, Sami scholars, bless, excuse me, Sami scholars, Hamed Gamun was seen having meeting with bandits and their leaders in the forest, giving them bundles of money. According to a report from Nigerian News, the bandits were led by their leader, Dongo Gadi, and the northern clergy, Ahmed Ganan, appeal with them to give peace a chance. Gani met with the bandits a few hours after some set of students from the staff of Government Science College in Niger State were adopted by the bandits. Okay? You can see them giving them the cash. So who gave this clergy now this money? Nigerian, are you that they deceive? You think that uh, everything you, is you. You are just the one. It's just you that is being deceived. No other person. When you think that Buhari is a government for Nigerians, I beg your pardon. What land are you? Gugu or Gaga? <laughs> Please think again, no. You think again because what is currently happening, this is Buhari's government giving his people money real life. We're not talking about trying to say propaganda. This is not propaganda. This is not fake news. This is not supposed to say fake. My dear, this is real life of what is happening now and now, now, now. Did you see the clergy? In case you did not see it again, look at the pictures very well. That is him giving a bundle of money, bundles of money to these people who have kidnapped people. So what do you expect? On a, no, on a more serious note, what do you expect? When they run out of this money, what's the next thing they will do? To the next school, we go. Buhari will not go there himself. He will send these people to go there. And you think Nigeria is safe? Uh-uh. And you think that what is happening? There are no people who are having secret meetings that you and I are not aware of and discussing and deciding. Let them make their noise. We will tighten it. Why will I go and announce that a, a, a headsman should not go to the south? They should go to the south and kill him, catch any of them. If any of them is caught, let them go to the police station. Before the police, as you are turning around, the police is releasing them. They will not know. That's what they are doing to us. Then people try, people like Sunday genuinely try to rise up and say, No, we are not going to allow this. Get what they are trying to do to them, suppress their voices. And guess what? They're not just suppressing their voices by just speaking. They are using even the Yoruba leaders, the Igbo leaders, to torment their own people. Yes, those are the people they are using. And everybody is keeping quiet. That's the dilemma of what is currently happening. Everybody is mute. You will see Yoruba leaders telling their people, eh, don't, uh, don't take laws into your hands. Eh, give the constitutional authority uh, power to do... And the constitutional is doing nothing, 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 nothing is being done. Nothing is being done. Welcome to Nigeria. Breaking news. Welcome to Nigeria. And they are going to Olu.
Eh? People who are genuinely concerned about what is going on in their region and have said we don't want criminal elements to come and conduct evil. We say no to criminal uh, works going on in our area. We cannot accept it. No way. These are the people that Nigerian government are facing. These are the people Nigerian government are putting, are, are putting eyes on. How can we explain that to Nigerians? I would like a comment. How do you explain that? That is the clergy having meeting. Eh, with these people, the bandits in the forest, that is them. And this is what they are trying to do in the south. And you think that they don't have a chairman. <laughs> Please go and sleep. Go and sleep. Nigeria, you are the one that thinks Muhammad Buhari is for you. <laughs> Muhammad Buhari is not for you. There is an agenda, there is a plan. And guess what? The army and the police are being used. Not the just the army that you see. Uh, just, no, 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 no. I'm talking about the generals. They are the ones being used because it's wherever they tell this uh, Jackie, the, the, army, the army guys, that's where they will go. Wherever they dispatch them to, that's where they will go. Okay? So those are the ones, those are not the ones I'm talking about. I'm talking about the generals, the very top people. They are the ones that are being used. They are the ones that are using the people. They are also in the same carcass. They are also in the same line. You are going to allude to, what is your reason for flushing out ESM? What is your reason? What, what did they do? Nigerians are being, not feel me. What's the question? What, what, do they, what did they do that deserve that they should be treated in such a way? You go to the villages and you began to do airstrike and you say uh, uh, civilians will not, casualties, uh, they are civilians so because all they are fighting for is Fulani headsmen leave our forest. Fulani headsmen have killed people. They come to the villages. People can no longer go to their farm. People are not safe. Guess what? They position a man who is mon money hunger, position hungry, made him the governor of the state so that he will not be able to stand for the people. Look at Governor Gordon Obaseki has made a U-turn telling the people of Edo State, we are not going to give any land to any Fulani headsman who wants to rear cattle. If you want to rear cattle, go to the landowner, purchase, and go and do whatever you want to do with your land. It's your business when you have purchased the land. Look at governor for Ondo State. Leave our forest reserve. And if you want to do cattle business, do it the right way. Buy a plot of land. Discuss with the people and do the right thing. But guess what? That is not what Nigerian government wants. They want to impose them on the people. Nigerians, it's happening. Leave us a comment. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can always get all our latest news. We really appreciate you. God bless you. Bye for now.